Hey guys, welcome back to my channel at Ebony Jasmine. I know it's been a while since I've recorded. I'm really sorry y'all. I've just had a whole bunch of stuff going on. I've really started getting into like the nitty gritty of like tech school. I just started class. So I apologize that I haven't been on here in a minute, but this video is going to let you guys know what I've been up to, what I've been doing, what you should expect to happen once you start tech school. I'm gonna go over the phasing program, the process of just how things work and kind of like the the day-to-day -day, uh, just being in tech school, transferring over from that BMT environment to a tech school environment. Um, so if you're interested to learn more about that, then stay tuned. So really quick disclaimer before we start, y'all, you know I love disclaimers. I am in a very different tech school environment. Um, so as you all may know, uh, my AFSC is a one and three. So I'm studying to be a linguist, a cryptologic language analyst. So my tech school is here in California um, and my tech school is about a year and a half, roughly, give or take. So um, it's very different from like the usual tech school, which is anywhere from like six weeks to like three months, six months maybe for some of like the other jobs that are, you know, have a lot more to them. But um, my tech school is very different. So just keep that in mind as you're watching this video. I am able to give like the overall gist of what you can expect in tech school, but mine is a little bit different because it's more like like a school, like a like college for real, because it's like so long. Um, so they do things a little bit differently here. So just keep that in mind, okay? So the main difference um, once you get to tech school is you have a lot more freedom than you had at BMT. So BMT, um, the environment is very different. It's a training environment. Um, they're trying to get you ready to, you know, join the Air Force. So everything is like, your schedule is like, boom, boom, boom. Like you have no freedom. Like you have no say in anything that you're doing. Tech school is where all of that changes. But when you first get to tech school, so all tech schools work like this to my knowledge, there's something called a phase program. Um, so when you first get out of BMT, they don't wanna throw you out immediately and just give you all of your freedom back because you've been so used to, for two, two and a half, two months or whatever, you've been used to having a strict schedule, having no freedoms, having no outside communication. Like, so they kinda wanna like ease you back into having those freedoms. So when I got to my tech school, I'm in phase, I was in phase one. Everyone's in phase one when you get there. It starts the day you get to your tech school. So here at my tech school, phase one is 30 days. I know like for some of the really, really short tech schools that are like maybe like four to six weeks, that first phase might be a little bit shorter than that. But generally for most people, it's around 30 days. So when you first get to your tech school, that counts as your day one at tech school, right? So you're in phase one for the first 30 days. Phase one means, for example, here, I had to always be in ABUs or OCPs, so the uniform of the day. You're not allowed to wear civvies or civilian clothes for the first phase of your tech school. Um, like out and about, you can't wear civvies. So that's one of the main things. Uh, the other thing is like curfews. So when you're in phase one, your curfew is a lot earlier than if you were in like phase two or phase three. So during the duty day, which is like Monday through Friday, everyone's curfew 10 p.m. was your curfew. You had to be in your room and like not out and about by 10 p.m. Um, once you're in phase three, I believe you don't have a curfew at all. So you can like do your own thing. But phase one and phase two, during the duty day, you still had a curfew of 10 p.m. In phase one, you also were not allowed to leave like the base or the post that you're at. So um, I couldn't go like off base to like the mall or like the movies or anything like that um, in phase one, first 30 days. On the weekends, so, you know, Friday night to Sunday evening or Saturday evening, honestly, um, curfew was a little bit later. So in phase one, that curfew extends to 12 a.m. And in phase two, that curfew extends to 2 a.m. I believe, yeah, 2 a.m. That it, that curfew for the weekend extends for phase two. And then phase three kind of doesn't really have a curfew. It's a little bit of a funny situation, but basically the curfew is 4 a.m. for phase three, but that's also when you can leave. So if you get what I'm saying, it's kind of like not really a curfew there because you could, you have to be back, but then you can also leave right at the same time. So it translates to no curfew for real. So yeah, those are like the main things, the main differences that uh, 
happen between the phases. So once you're phase two, which is after the 30 day mark, once you're ready to phase up, you have to like go meet with your sergeant and kind of go over like some rules. Like they'll ask you like just certain things to make sure that like you've learned some things in phase one and you're keeping up with the rules of, you know, the base or the post that you're at. And you just know a little bit more of what's going on in tech school. So they do a little bit of a little quiz and they phase you up. So once you get to phase two, like I said, a later curfew, you can wear civilian clothing. Um, you're not restricted to just the uniform of the day. Um, and also you're able to finally go off post or base. So once you're in phase two, you're able to like leave and like go do whatever you wanna do. You have a lot more freedom. Um, and that's after the first 30 days. Now that you're able to go off base or post, you um, have like limitations to how far you can go. I think in phase two here, it's like three hours away or up to like 175 miles, something like that, whichever comes first. Now in phase three, the difference between that is you have a further distance that you can travel. So in phase three, it becomes five hours or like 300 miles, something like that. Um, and this is just when you're taking like weekend leave, like if we have like a long four day weekend or like just a regular weekend and you're taking, you're going off uh, poster base, uh, those are your limitations. But that's different than taking like a full blown like leave where you can like, you're actually taking time off and like you can like fly to where you gotta go or like go beyond those distances. That's like a whole different thing. Like, so it's two different kinds of like leave. Like there's just weekend leave and then there's like full blown like leave. So keep that in mind. Another main difference between tech school and BMT. When I first got here, like I was still in BMT mode. So I was like very, very on edge. Like yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am. Not that you, you don't do that anymore. You still, you know, have your customs and courtesies. But for example, we got picked up at the airport by other airmen and I was like, yes sir. Like, no ma'am, like, you know, and they were other airmen just like me. I didn't know that at the time. But anyways, it's a way more relaxed environment. Um, but this is where it gets a little tricky because like I said, my tech school is a little bit different than your usual tech school. So like, it's a little bit more relaxed only because we're in this tech school and this training for a very, very, very long time because we're learning a new language. So. They kind of want you to focus a, just a little bit more on like passing your language courses because they're very, very intense um, and they're very, very demanding. So like some of the Air Force things kind of are not as emphasized all the time. Don't get me wrong. We still do the same things. We're still we're still airmen and all of that, but it is a little bit of a different environment. In tech school, you still have PT tests. You still have room inspections. Um, you still have like open ranks. You still have all of the basic like things that were ingrained in us in BMT, but it's just less frequent and it's not as daunting. Like it's not as like, oh my gosh, like my mom would do this. Like it's, it's more of a laid back environment. You are still an airman. You are still expected to uphold all of those values and things that we were taught, you will still need to make sure you're on top of your, your shit, you know what I mean? So you'll still have to like keep up with strings and making sure that you look presentable. It's not gonna be like BMT where like they're checking every day for like every little thing on you, but just know that that is still something that is expected and will happen. It just depends on like how frequently, just depending on where you're at and how that tech school does things. I know speaking from experience where I'm at, it's not as frequent, but it is still something that's done. We have PT appraisals here once every quarter. So once every three months we have like a PT test. It's not like our main one, but if you fail that, you will be put in remedial PT. And if you get over a 90, um, it can get you out of mandatory PT. So we do those every quarter. And then um, I haven't had like my, my real PT test yet because it's a year after the final one I did at BMT, like my main one that I did at BMT because I scored over a 90. So I'll be doing that probably towards like the end of this year, like October or September of this year, I'll have like my annual PT test. This tech school is also really cool because it's not just Air Force. So um, it's all of the branches here. It's Air Force, Marines, Navy, um, Army. All of us are here together at DLI, the Defense Language Institute. 
um, and we're all learning different languages. Um, so that's pretty cool about this tech school. You will have a roommate in tech school um, unless you're married or you have dependents, so you have kids, then you're able to move off post, have your own house, do your own thing. But if you are single, unmarried, don't have kids, you will be in like the dorms or barracks depending on where your tech school is. So I first got here in October of 2019, but my classes weren't set to start until January 9th. So when that happens, when you get to tech school, you may not be starting classes immediately. It's probably not gonna be as long as I waited. I waited like what, three months? It's probably gonna be, not gonna be that long, um, but sometimes there is a little bit of a wait before you start your classes. So when that happens, you'll be put on details. So details is pretty much like, just like it was at BMT, it's just different things that need to be done around the squadron that you know you're assigned to do for your detail. Um, but if your class doesn't start for a really long time, you can be put on a permanent detail, which that's more like uh, things like CQ, like helping out with their CQ or like working the mail room or something that's like more long term because you're gonna be on details for like a longer time than most other people who will be starting class in like a couple weeks or whatever. But um, for people who don't start class, I know for people who start class a bit sooner, their details are more like the usual, like cleaning like the public bathrooms or like sweeping the hall, mopping, um, taking out trash, like just little things. It's really not that bad at all. So I just started classes January 9th. Um, so I've really been like really in the nitty gritty now. So when I first got here, like it wasn't really like, I didn't really have the full like gist of tech school because I was in details for like so long so it was like not really like full-blown understanding like how my tech school is gonna go so now that I've started class like let me just give you guys like sort of like a rundown of like a day in the life of what I do so I wake up at about 5 45 ish sometimes I press news for another five minutes so um 5.45 to 6 is when I wake up. Um, I get dressed and everything. I have to be at my first morning formation, which begins at 6.45, 0.645 a.m. is when the first morning formation is. So form up with our flights. I am in Echo Flight and we are assigned flights based on our language. So um, I'm not sure how it is at other tech schools, but you'll you'll still have a squadron. You'll still have like flights, I'm sure, MTI, MTLs all that stuff, so all of that stays the same. I'm in Echo Flight, so I form up with my flight. Um, we do like accountability, we do like Reveille and all that stuff. And then uh, after formation, we get dismissed. I go to breakfast at the DFAC, um, which is sometimes better than BMT, but like not like significantly better. The breakfast is always great, but BMT breakfast was great too, in my opinion, that's just me. But um, not like so much better like the food here I don't know if it's just my tech school or if it's like that all around but don't expect to be out of BMT and be like eating like five course meals unless you go off post or base and go to like a nice restaurant which you have the freedom to do once you're in tech school which is great so yeah I eat breakfast at about 7 uh, my class doesn't start until 7 55 so that's really nice because there's a lot of time in between like I'm not rushing in the mornings um, the only thing is getting to formation but once I get to phase three, I don't have to go to formation. So that's another thing that as you phase up, you just basically just get more privileges and just more freedom and you get out of more things. Um, also, once I'm in phase three, I'll be able to get out of mandatory PT because I scored a 95 on my PT test. So yeah, I'm currently phase two right now, guys. Sorry, I didn't let you know that, but to try to phase up to phase three. Um, and then I won't have to go to morning formation at 645. Anyways, after breakfast, I go to class. I'm usually there at about 7.40ish, um, and then class doesn't start, start until 7.55, so I have some time to just like chill, look over my homework, things like that. Um, any tech school, you're gonna be going to classes in the morning to learn your job, but the way it works here, we have class from 7.55 to 3.45. Um, and so we have class for an hour and then we have like 10 minute breaks in between each hour and we have different teachers that rotate into our class. Um, that's our teaching team. Um, so they rotate into our class and we get like a different teacher every hour, which is kind of nice because it just keeps your mind kind of refreshed and like you have different teaching styles and things like that. So I have 
I go to second lunch. So um, second lunch is at 12, actually 11.45 is when we get released. So I go to lunch at 11.45, come back at one, and then I have three hours left of class. So after class on Mondays and Wednesdays, I have PT at 16.15. So 4.15, I have PT. So it's like right after class. I get out of class at 3.45, kind of have to rush to PT at 4.15. PT is pretty similar to BMT. Uh, we have like run days, then we have strength days, and it just kind of alternates. Um, PT is not too bad. It doesn't take up too much time. It's usually roughly like an hour. Um, and then you leave from PT and you have accountability after PT to make sure that you were there when you were supposed to. Um, and then that's the last accountability or formation of the day and then after that you're done with your duty day and you're free to do what you want you have accountability at night at around 9 p.m or 10 p.m uh i can't remember exactly what time they do it because i don't do it anymore now but when i was in phase one we would have accountability make sure everyone's in their rooms at curfew and then you're dismissed after that and you can go back into your room and do what you need to do so that's kind of the rundown of like a typical day. Um, every day is different just depending on like what squadron events are going on or like flight events, like commander's PT, different activities and things like that um, that go on that kind of change the course of the day. But the, the gist of it kind of goes like that. So basically in tech school, it's great. You're gonna have so much more freedom. Um, you're gonna feel, you're gonna be able to feel like your own person again once you leave BMT and you're in tech school. Um, it is a little bit difficult just because you do have to focus. You are still doing your job. You're learning um, a new skill and it's it's great. You're meeting new people, you're making friends. Um, tech school is awesome. So I'm still learning a lot here. I know there's a lot of different like programs to get involved in. Like there's ropes, different kinds of ropes that you can be. Um, I'll probably end up making a video about that if I decide on being a rope. It's kind of something I'm thinking about. But um, ropes are just like, it's kind of like, sort of like element leaders at BMT, but it's a lot more responsibility kind of depending on what tech school you're in and how it works there. But then there's also like black ropes, which are like the drill team. There's white ropes, which is volunteer. Like they do a lot of volunteer work. Uh, there's teal ropes. They deal with like sexual assault and like just, just being there for other wingmen, just kind of being like a mentor and like just being, someone who's always there to talk to and things like that. So two ropes, two ropes are pretty cool. Shout out to them. All the ropes are pretty cool, honestly. But um, yeah, so I'll get into more detail about the extracurriculars that you can get involved in at tech school once I kind of learn more myself while I'm here. But yeah, guys, so that is the gist of what I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, I'm sorry that I've been so busy, but um, oh, I didn't even get into like what I'm doing. So. My language is Arabic, so I'm learning MSA, Modern Standard Arabic. Um, it's extremely fast paced. We're just learning so much every day. Um, but so far it's great, I love it, I'm having fun, I'm enjoying it, I'm learning so much. I've been doing good, I'm just super busy, getting into the nitty gritty of things. So um, I'm gonna try to keep up with my posting and make sure I'm still keeping up with you guys, letting you guys know what's going on here, answering questions, doing all that stuff. So. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it shed some light on what to expect once you get to tech school. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure to leave a comment down below, reach out to me directly. I'd be more than happy to answer you all's questions. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.